Before this video starts, I'd just like to make an announcement. I have the Liberal Tears mug uh, for $14.99 on my website. It is the first link in the description if you want to go pick one up. Um, don't worry if it breaks when it comes to your house. I'll send you another one for free out of my pocket. I don't care. I want you to get your Liberal Tear mug. Uh, it comes in uh, Liberal Tears white with the face, black with the face, white without the face, and black without the face. So pick whichever one you want, and it'll come to your door uh, in about three to five days. So that should be epic. First thing in the description, thank you. Let's go on with the video. You will resist and we will persist. You won't stop us. You won't ever stop us. Who's arguing about that? I don't know. Why don't you Who's read it? Or can you read? Can you even read? Who's arguing? SC, did you go there? University of Spoiled Children? Look at this. Look at this rich guy. Look at this rich guy. I care about the minorities while I'm up in my SC campus. Campus, look at this. Getting my degree, acting like I care about everybody. I live in a gated community away from everyone that's yeah. supposedly care about. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. Don't you have any dignity left? <laughs> you yelling, you're talking to me about dignity? Yes, I am talking to you about dignity. Oh, so I'm talking to you. Why did you call her a rapist? I asked if she was a rapist. Why would you ask such a thing? Why would you be a Latino for Trump? Why would you ask her such a thing? Why would you be a Latino for Trump? You are racist. What are you looking for? What do you think is going to be in there? What do you think is going to be in there? Where are the taxes? Where are the taxes? Where are the taxes? Right lies. Right lies. Right lies. CNN are the liars. Everyone else but right are liars. All controlled by the Democratic Party. Right lies. Right lies. Fuck your white supremacy! You know you're white, right? right? You know you're white. What's around me? Where's all your people at? I can actually walk around in here now. Where's all your people? With that? Will you believe in that BS? You want to have a conversation? All right, let's go. I'll ask you uh, why you're here and wh wh what you think about Trump and then you can make a comment, all right? So why did you come here today? I came here today to protest what Trump is proposing, his executive orders, the legislation that's happening. I'm with those guys over across the street. Yeah, let's hear from you guys. Very, very good. Well, do you know he's proposing a bill that just got started. It has to go through his, the, the, the um, not the legislature, but the House of Representatives. It goes to, to, to the Senate. It comes back. It goes through numerous committees. If you all want to give input to the, the current health care bill, call your senators. It's not a done deal. They want to hear from you. This is not a done deal. Trump is not a fascist. He's proposing legislation. Let me just say this. Not all Muslims are bad, but the vast majority that even consider moderate, that, let me finish. You want to finish, I'm going to finish. And here's how this works. Not every Muslim is bad. That means like saying every Christian is homophobic. It's not true. And here's the thing. You have extremists, like the ones in ISIS, that just kill anybody that disagrees. Then you have moderates that think it's okay to kill gays and throw them off buildings because it is more compassionate than letting them live. Then you have the very small percentage that accept everything and that assimilate into the Western modern world. A terrorist. That's not a Muslim. That's that is a moderate. What do you realize that like when you think you're radicalized? And Christians all over will reject that, except a very small percentage. But Muslims, Muslims will not condemn ISIS, and we're condemning the killing of gays.
and love, please. <laughs> This is for Red Elephant Trail. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Omar Navarro. I'm running for Congress in the 43rd Congressional District. I'm challenging Maxine Waters, a career politician. Uh, you guys can go on my website at omarnavarro.com. Uh, the girl was advocating that Islam is uh, is peaceful, it loves women, you know, all that, all that stuff you typically hear from people like that. The left will completely drop their, their beliefs for, fe for feminism and you know the leftist ideologies to completely bow down and submit to Islam. And you know, you could have your views, I can have mine, but if you're gonna have your views, then you you stick to your views. My dad came from Germany with five bucks at 17. He became very successful with hard work, determination. Oh, cancer. I was talking to my teacher the other day and she said, look up nurses and how they're how they're how they're paid differently, how men get more than women. Um, so of course I researched it and I went in the next week and I said, um, first of all, women make up 90% of the of nurses in the United States. But what she doesn't realize and what she failed to research was that women tend to go towards lower levels of education when it comes to nursing and lower paid jobs in nursing. Men take nursing jobs like like helipad, like helicopter nurses. They're paid more and men apply and get those jobs more than women. If women apply for jobs where they would get paid more, then they get the exact same amount of money. You can't just look at all male nurses in the country and all female nurses without looking into like specific jobs or what they do, because like, it makes no sense. Come on. Freed the slaves. It was the Republicans. Democrats supported slavery. Democrats supported the peculiar institution. They even fought to the death to hold on to the slaves. Republicans were freeing slaves, you were keeping them enslaved. That isn't fake news, that's a fact. Now, let's talk about civil rights. What were Democrats doing when it comes to civil rights? They were suppressing them, they were stopping them, and they killed anybody who fought for them. You ever heard of Jim Crow? Democrats. Right. You ever heard of civil rights suppression? Democrats. You want to talk about segregation? Democrats. You guys, oh, and the KKK? That's you guys. Democrats started the KKK. That's not fair. Hey, what's your name? What's your name? Jacob. Jacob. Where are you from? I would like just to say something. I don't want it to be. I'll say something. You promise? Yeah. Should I hold it or should I give it to you? I just want to say, we love America on that side. You guys love America on this side. You have the right to protest, we have the right to protest. That's what makes this country great. And I hope ultimately, despite whatever policy disagreements we might have, that we all remain true to this country. That is great right there. I've heard a lot of protests. I like that. Thank you. I love it. If you're offended by real facts, then that's no, on you. You're a I'm not illegal. You know what? You are illegal. Let me ask a question. Do you have a question for her? You're not my people. You're, I'm not Mexican. You're not my people. So don't come over here trying to tell me that you're my people, homie. You're not my people. Okay? I'm an American. Born and raised. Americans are my people, homie. Everybody. We support the Jews. You don't. You support Palestine. You are the Nazis. You are the Nazis. You see that? You see that? The minute we got up in their face, they started violence. The cops are here to, to keep them in place. What are you guys doing over there? Come face us. Come over here.
is our sign and they wrote in six trump. If you break the sign, I'll have you arrested. Hey, 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 hey. I'll have you arrested. This is your shirt. What are you? Do what's he doing? It's what's he doing over here? Get your hand up for sign. What's he doing over here? Because this is your sign. That's my sign. Okay, I didn't know. You left the sign. So you really don't have a. If you want to, if you worried about your welfare, we think we know that Donald Trump is a bigot, and he is a racist, and a sexist, and anti-gay, and anti-Semite, and he's against. Mexicans and immigrants coming over to our country and he's against human beings. He, he doesn't want people to be the way they want to be. He wants them to be the way he is. He's sort of like a mini Hitler. He, he's taking the same approach as Hitler. He wants to banish and get rid of everybody who wants to come in, our, in this country for freedom. He wants to take away, take away all of our freedom. He wants to take away our freedom of speech. He wants to take away our, our freedom to live here. That's why we're here for, against Donald Trump. Fuck Trump and everything. We're just trying to show a way that we think he's going to hear it. Because if we say, oh, you're a racist, you're an anti-Semite, he doesn't care. He hears it every day. He doesn't freaking care. The second that we say, F you, he gets it in his head. Maybe these people don't like me, and we don't. So that's why we're here. So there are going to be people that watch this that think that everything that you just said was bullshit. The people behind that gate, they're, they're going to think that it's bullshit. Give me some examples of how Trump is racist and sexist. Everything he says on, on TV and during his debates and everything, he, he, he wants to build a wall to... to, to take to, to give back the Americans their jobs but all these immigrants all these people from other nations that are in America now they're Americans now why why do we have to take away their jobs to give it to the white people that's why more than anything I don't support Trump that is the most important thing um, we you know we have to stop Trump and okay that that's 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 90 percent of my opinion the other 10 percent I would say you know I where I'm at right now I, I like I like Bernie Sanders um, you know I um, I've done a lot of traveling. I've done a lot of traveling, um, to, uh, you know, in Europe, um, Denmark, and Sweden, you know, uh, Iceland. I, I life is better over there, you know. So what they're doing in the Nordic countries is working, and that's what Bernie wants to do here. Um, you know, nationalized healthcare, taking care of people. It, it's better for everybody. Um, it's better for a society as a whole. You know, and it, we're we're right next to Trenton. You know, it's uh, you know these are, these are, we have some very uh, poor and violent communities here in the United States. I'm not okay with that. Um, you know, those communities don't exist to that same extent um, in countries that that have more of a democratic socialist system. And I, I think it's work. You know, we don't have to talk hypotheticals. You know, these things work. So, that, I, so right now I, I support Bernie more than anyone else. But. So, so if Bernie doesn't get it, you will support Hillary. Anything to beat Trump? Absolutely. Yes. If, if yeah, I'm I'm gonna be there uh, on on voting day, no matter what, voting against Trump. Uh, I don't, you know. Yeah, exactly. I think. Do you think Hillary gonna be good for women's rights? Um, you know, I gotta say, I'm not really an expert in that. I I uh, in, in Hillary. Um, surely not gonna be bad for women's rights. I mean, and and I, I, I the fact that she's female. So the, the fact that she's being that, if that's what you're getting at. The fact that she is being elected president as a female is great for women's rights. That that. That in its own right. Um, in terms of her policies, I'm, I'm just not really an expert to say either way. Um, but Trump will definitely um, will definitely reduce women's rights and, and their standing in society. And again, you look at you look around the world. You know, there are plenty of countries right now where women, you know, have a very low status in society and they're objectified and belittled. And I I, I don't want to go in that direction. I want to go in the direction of you know again like Nordic countries where they have a higher status than here. Well, speaking of other countries like Saudi Arabia, what do you think about Hillary supporting Saudi Arabia, getting funding from Saudi Arabia? Yeah, Hillary supporting Saudi Arabia. You know, I actually don't really know much about that story. Um, but uh, how old are you? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, so you see all this stuff going on right now during this election. What do you think the future is going to be for you? Because you're sixteen, so you got a long way to look forward to. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think this is going to get worse? Well, I wouldn't call this worse, but some people are just, you know. A little immature and childish, and I don't think that uh, they're going to be supportive members of society. But you know, my friends and I, we have uh, hopes for the future, of course, for America. I'm personally a Swiss citizen, uh, so if you know all else fails, I'll go to Switzerland. But uh, I, I still have hope for America. <laughs>
No, I do not support Trump. Why not? Because he is just a loser that is gay and has no life. Why do you think that? Because, do you see his haircut? Like, what kind of haircut is that? This is my brother, Christian Hoffman. So, do you really think Trump is gay? I really do. I really do. What, what proof do you have of that? I don't have no proof. Proof, but just look at his face. He says his parents gave him a small loan of a million dollars. Do you think that's small? I don't think that's very small. How old are you? I am 10. How old are you? I'm 27. Okay. So, hey, do your parents support Trump? No, they do not. Who do they support? I'm not sure. <laughs> Who do you support? I support, what's his name? Oh, I forget his name. Or her name. Her, yeah, Bernie. Hey, is, do you support Bernie or Hillary? Bernie. Why do you support Bernie? Because I think he's just a good guy. But why do you think he's a good guy? Because, uh, what? Okay, well, hey, why did you tear the signs up? Because Trump is a loser that he he is trying to make everybody uh, the race. I got to go. What he said. He has a Hello everyone, hey, I'm just stopping by to remind you that liberals are insane. <laughs> Social justice warriors are becoming more violent and triggered than ever before. Anyways, be sure to subscribe to KGP TV on YouTube and have a blessed day. Yeah, man.